Jelikož se v Praze už kvůli turismu nedá dejchat, tak jsme si řekli, že se o tento turistický nešvar podělíme trošku z Plzní a pár jich sem pošleme. Tak snad se na nás nebudete zlobit. Hello and welcome to Plzeň, the birthplace of my father and also the best beer in the world. Obviously, Plzeň, or in English, Pilsen, gave its name to the type of beer Pilsen. Uh, but there are many more things that Plzeň should be famous for. So today we're going to show them to you, and we're going to start off on the tallest church tower there is in our country. So we made it to the top, in total including the spire above us, the tower is 102 meters tall, so you have a uh, pretty cool view overlooking the whole city, you can pretty much see everything, the synagogue, the industrial park, uh, and also a skyscraper where we're going to go later because there's another view over there. Plzeň is with 170,000 people living in it, one of the largest cities in our country, and it's very easily accessible from Prague, which is sort of that way. Uh, it takes only about an hour on a bus or a train, we suggest the train ride. And uh, moving around is quite easy, uh, usually on foot, or they have trams where you can easily pay with your credit card to buy a ticket. We got here on a very hot summer day, so it's time to cool down, and we got two suggestions where we can do so. I can see both uh, from right here, so let's go. Classical thing, main square and a tourist trap, because it says it's a pharmacy, but it's actually a pub. Just like in pharmacy, you get a medicine. <laughs> in all seriousness, this is probably the best place to get Pilsner beer in Pilsen. Uh, it's called Lekarna, and uh, Honza loves the place because his um, friend is the brewmaster here that we visited yesterday. But not only for beer, you can get uh, lunch here. Um, any Czech dish will be served. And uh, it does uh, offer you a very nice view. Well, the beer was cool, but if you want something even colder, you may want to head out to an ice cream place called Colombina. Happy? Happy. Well, the ice cream here in Colombina is very delicious. They even got some awards from Italy, and Italians know how to make good ice cream. Uh, but right next to it is another beer place called Pivotechka, where we've actually been together on our previous visit to Plzeň and uh, we can give them an award too. Pivotečka has more than 11 beers on tap, so if you want to do some tasting and try different kinds of beers, that's a place to go to. Do not worry, you will not get lost in Plzeň because they have signs that are not only in Czech, but also in English. In terms of food, most of the places we showed you will serve you food, so uh, pick one of them, or uh, as us, you can pick Blondie's Burger because we heard a lot of good stuff about it, so um, can I start, please? Because I am hungry. It's really good. Like, really good. They offer three sizes of burgers. I got a small one, Hansa got the middle one, and I regret every second that I didn't get the big one. Uh, but it's absolutely delicious, and we just got the potatoes, and those are, wow, I'm pretty much mind blown. After a short walk from the city center, we had arrived to Depo 2015. Uh, these used to be garages for public transport. They were fixing buses here, uh, but now it's a place for you to visit because uh, events happen here almost every week. And uh, if you come any time of the day, there will be a coffee place and a co-working space open. Let me show you. And not only coffee, but obviously lemonade or beer and uh, even a little lunch. Everything you need to know about Plzeň is in that one uh, art piece. Let's see if you can figure it out. Well, I'm sure you figured out the beer, but let's see if you can spot the other things on this and write them in the comment section below. <laughs> if you fear heights, do not. Come here. It moves, but the view of the whole depot here is great. And of course, this place wouldn't be hipster enough without some public shared 
gardening. It's really cool. <laughs> Normally, we teach you a Czech word at the end of the episode. This time, we're going to make an exception, uh, and we're going to teach you how to say carrot in Czech. It's Mr. Kaff. Markev. We are at a coffee place, Sini, like that just opened up. Uh, we were given the suggestion by one of the locals from Plzeň, and uh, the owners here are absolutely lovely. Uh, they make uh, desserts and breakfasts, and a delicious coffee and a lovely little garden. So uh, this is a must visit in Plzeň. And if you're fans of trains, which I am, then this is the place to sit. And now for something completely different. If you're lucky enough and you're in Plzeň, either on Monday or Wednesday, you may want to find this building, the city hall. Yes, they have Pater Noster in Plzeň. You want to take a ride? Let's do it. We love this non-stop running elevator. We have many of them in Prague and we were lucky enough to find one in Plzeň. Uh, it brings us childhood memories uh, because we would always play around in them. Super safe. We are inside the Great Synagogue in Plzeň. Uh, and when I say great, it is actually uh, big because it's the third largest synagogue in the world, second in Europe. Not only the Great Synagogue, you can also visit the Old Synagogue here in Plzeň. If you also want to enjoy a view of the synagogue and the theater, there's a pub that you may uh, also know from Prague, it's called Lokal, so you can grab a beer or something to eat. But we're gonna go just around the corner to a little better place we heard. This place is called Pifstro, which is a play on the words beer and bistro, Pifstro. Uh, not only they have great beer, which we're tasting right now, but they, uh, according to uh, some locals, have also great food. So if you come here, have some uh, of their, something of their menu, and you can be the judge and tell us what it was like. If you are into architecture, one of the things to see in Plzeň is Los Interiors. There are many of them around the city, uh, so you can find them either on the website where you can also book your tour. Plzeň is famous not only for their beer, but for puppets. Spabel and Hurvinek were born right here, and they have a three-story uh, museum that you can visit and play with the puppets, uh, so we suggest it, yet we don't have time for it. But if you have kids, I'm sure they will love it. Thanks to my friend, we found this amazing place called Terrace. You probably understand why it's named like that. Uh, we're sitting on the old uh, city walls uh, with amazing view of the park. Uh, this place offers obviously some refreshment, uh, some stuff from the grill. And uh, we were told that every evening there's an event happening. So for example, the event that will be happening here today will be Opekani Bustu. Translate that to English, Sausage Fest. I promised you another view from a skyscraper. So we're at the top of the skyscraper where uh, you will find Kros Cafe, which is actually a Czech chain of uh, coffee. And uh, it offers an amazing view. I hope that our video will not only for foreign tourists, but also for foreign from the Czech Republic. So if you are from any other country of our country, go to Plzeň, because it's really worth it.